everyone, I'm Renee with Steadfast Fitness. This is a total beginner strength workout. If you're just starting out or starting over again, this one's for you. You don't need any equipment, you don't even need to wear shoes unless you'd like to. We also are going to use a chair for one of the exercises, but we'll show you an option without that. It just helps us get you into position for one of the exercises. All right, there'll be a little bit more instruction and you're gonna just do the best you can and roll with it. Okay, see you at the workout. Let's start out standing. Keep those knees loose and we're gonna just inhale up, bringing the arms up. Inhale, deep breath, and then exhale. And one more time. Inhale up. Always focusing on that breathing and exhale, and we'll get more into that. Relax, and then go ahead and take one ear to the shoulder. Relax out that jaw, keep the eyes open, and then take the ear to the, the other ear to the other shoulder. Try to keep those shoulders down and loose. And we're gonna just keep that going. Keep the knees slightly bent. Keep your breathing going. Make sure you're active in your breathing. And I'll get more specific with that as we go along. We just want to make sure you don't hold your breath. Keeping those shoulders relaxed. Keeping those knees bent helps a little bit with movement and relaxing the body. And then go ahead and hold your ear to one shoulder. Turn that chin down towards the chest and start to roll your head to one side and then roll it to the other side. Remember to keep those knees bent and remember to keep that breathing going. Can't say it enough. Don't worry about the beat. Don't worry about the music. We are not doing anything to a set beat today. We are just moving our bodies Getting it, getting it ready for work, getting them stronger and building a foundation for them. And then hold it at center, pick that head up and roll those shoulders back and down. So moving those shoulders forward, back and down. And we don't have to get too specific with that. Just keep relaxed and straight up. Keep those knees relaxed. You can move side to side if you want or just stay in place, doesn't matter. And relax, and then we're going to reach side to side. Reach, maybe I pick that heel up. Same heel as the arm that's going up. Just breathing, nice stretch in the side of the body. Nice reach with those arms. Maybe you wanna keep those feet down. That's okay too. <sighs> Whatever works. Here's four, three, yes, two, and one. And let's stay at center. And then we're gonna reach the arm across. A little bit of a rotation. Do you notice how my hips don't go with it? They're not moving with it quite yet. So let's just one arm across. And look, my shoulders are staying forward too. So not much of a rotation. We are gonna to start to feel even just this, even just moving that arm across, you feel your waistline a little bit. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is we're gonna move the hip with it. So this arm, this hip is gonna follow through. I'm gonna lift my heel, Lift my heel and rotate towards the direction that my hand is going. All right, and then the other side. Rotate towards the direction that my hand is going. My heel is up, my toe is down, and hips are moving in that direction. And if you don't like this and you're just, ah, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for that, then you're just crossing like we did in the beginning and keeping those, that, those hips forward and the chest forward. Okay, so just adding a little bit, a little bit more of a trickier move. Rotating with it. 
So, so we don't want to stay stuck here or else you're rotating a little bit too much in the waistline and we're not ready for that yet. We want to stay really safe and gentle. Rotations are great and rotating in the waistline is awesome. But we want to, again, we're building a foundation as beginners and we want to make sure that we're keeping as safe and as, as least stressful as possible. <laughs> Three, last two, and last one. Okay, and relax it and just shake out those legs, shake out those arms a little bit. <sighs> Keep that breath going. Let's inhale up one more time, inhale. And exhale, and relax it. Okay, moving on to our strength portion. Eight exercises. For the first exercise, you might need your chair um, or some kind of couch, anything you can sit on that's pretty sturdy. If you don't have that, that's fine. Let's show you what we're doing without it. We're going to go into a body weight squat. Our legs, our feet are going to be a little bit wider than hip width. Toes are pointed straight forward, so they're not turned out in any way. They're not turned in. Knees and toes are forward, just staying flat on the feet, okay? Meaning nothing is turned in or turned out in any way. And we're gonna push into the heels, push into your heels, push into your heels. So what, what tends to happen with these squats is that first, the back starts arching this way, and second, the knees start going forward. Nope, those knees have to stay at what, we're, what is gonna be a 90 degree angle. So, and we wanna keep the knees right over the ankles, right over the ankles. So they shouldn't be forward, they shouldn't go above the toes or even forward of the toes. Sit them back. So we're gonna sit, 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 sit. And the other thing is we've gotta keep our chest up while we do it. A lot of you are gonna wanna do something like this. Nope the chest stays up and a lot of it is tightness. Let's keep our hands on our thighs and I will look at you. I'll move around so that you can see all angles. Hands in the middle of the thighs, not here or else your chest is too far forward. Not here or else you might be arching your back and I don't want that arch. I want a straight back. I want a straight back, straight line. Okay, we don't want an arch and we don't want a, a rounding. We want to keep that back as straight as possible. That requires core strength, okay? It requires uh, hip mobility and all kinds of strength in those legs. So we're building it. So let's just, let's stay here and then come up again, because that might have been a lot. That might have been a long hold getting all those adjustments. Let's try that again. <sighs> legs, feet wider than hip width. And then we're gonna put our hands on the middle of our thighs and sit. How far can you sit down, keeping the chest up? I'm oh, sorry, keeping the chest up. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Oh, 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 oh. And then straighten your body. Okay, what's the chair doing here? Well, if you feel safe, and a lot of people need to really watch themselves in the mirror when they do it, you can go ahead and sit down into a chair. And the best way to practice this is sitting into a chair and keeping the legs at a 90 degree angle when you do it. All right, see how the, my feet aren't back here. That's, that's, not, that's gonna put a whole lot of pressure on those knees and we don't want that. We wanna build strength in our legs, okay? In our hips and our back, right? So I'm gonna push into my heels, not into my toes or else I'm gonna fall forward. Push into my heels and then squeeze my glutes and come up. Okay, sit down, sit, 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 sit. Maybe use the arms a little bit to gather up. Whoop. Squeeze, squeeze right here. Squeeze, 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 and come up. And then sit, 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 balancing down. So let's keep that movement going and, and, and chat about it here. So what's happening is, the, you might not have a lot of control going down. You might be like, oh, whoo, and collapse. You gotta really tighten those legs, tighten that body, especially the back, back body, those glutes, those hamstrings, those hips, and that might not be available to you yet. 
that might not be ready. So we're building it. Maybe, maybe this, this isn't very strong. Maybe you've got handlebars that you can hold on to, or you've got a wall you can hold on to while you're having a seat down and building that strength. Let's just do two more like this. And yes, we will do a set without the chair if that's not around. And if you don't have a chair right now, you're just sitting, sitting back and coming forward. And let's, I'm sorry, we'll do one more. And coming forward, okay, and shake it out. Shake it out. So you're either holding onto your thighs, and we're gonna go right back to it. <laughs> we're holding onto your thighs, you're holding onto a wall, all right? Or nothing at all, or not sitting in the chair. Let's do a body weight squat without the chair. And if that's not okay for you, use the chair, all right? You have options. Okay, getting yourself set. We're going again. Toes forward, knees not going forward, hands on the thighs or maybe even on the waistline. It just depends on what prevents you from getting out of form. So we're gonna bend the knees, sit back, sit back onto the heels. My toes can come up. Sit back, Woo! keep the chest up, keep the chest up. Don't start arching the spine. Ugh. Keep that back straight, straight. How far can you go? Keeping all of those things in mind with that chest up, that chest up, sitting, 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 sitting. Think about bending the knees, bending the knees, keeping the tummy away from the thighs and then come up. And a lot of you would have been like, oh man, that's too far for me to go. And that's okay, you don't have to bend very far because we're just starting out and if you're just starting out and this is new to your body, your body will feel it plenty without having to go too low. The goal is not to get very sore. What'll happen if you're too sore tomorrow and you can't go for your walk or, or do other things active and keep that motion going? That's not good. You wanna, you wanna maximize your potential. So we just want to do enough where we feel like we did something, but we didn't overdo. Let's inhale and exhale. And one time, one more time. Inhale down and exhale and relax it. So you saw me in those last ones not using my hands, not holding on. It depends on exactly where you're at. We're going for three sets, which is a lot for a beginner. So be very gentle. And we're going through these three sets so that we continue with instruction and continue to work on what's going on. Watch out for the back, watch out for that. If you're already feeling this a lot, grab some water for this third set and pass on it. All right, let's use the chair and, and just our body. So get ready, body standing up tall. There's none of this. Tuck those hips, tuck, 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 tuck. Lift the abdominals, lift the abdominals, strengthen the abdominals, feet wider than hip width, hands on the thighs maybe, or the waist, and then take a seat, 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 seat down. Oh, there we go. Legs are at 90 degree angles. Knee is right above the ankle. Ready? And come up. Now I don't, I don't want to see this. I see this all the time. Nope. That's a lot of your lower back. No, no, no. We want to keep the chest up. Yeah, there we go. How's that breathing going? Lots to remember. Don't worry about all of these points. I gotta say these things because you're learning. But wow, it's a lot. So just try to keep absorbing the information. Try to keep adjusting. Pushing through the heels, not pull, pushing through the toes. Keeping the chest up, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the, the, the thighs, the, the hamstrings. Maybe if we don't have that chair or seat available in our space, 
We're just sitting down into that body weight squat, keeping that chest up, making sure that the stomach does not go onto the thighs. All right, let's relax. Let's shake that out. Shake it out. Shake those arms out too. Just shake everything. Shake the whole body. Okay, so we're gonna give the legs a rest and go down to the ground for some push-ups. You have to learn push-ups. Here we go. Okay, we're going to do this uh, on all fours. Uh, quadruped, quadruped, however you wanna say it, on all fours, on your hands and your knees. So all fours, or quadruped, quadruped, means that the hands are on the ground under or at sh or around shoulder level and that the knees are either uh, right, usually right under the hips, right under the hips. They're not up here and they're not down here. They're right under the hips. So we'll keep our toes either flat down or you can turn them under and toes on the ground for a little bit more stability. Okay, so the hands now, you're gonna spread your fingers apart and we're gonna take them wider than shoulder width. Just a little bit wider. So what does that mean? They're not here, they're a little bit wider than shoulder width. Okay, so what's gonna happen is my nose or my chin, let's do our chin, our chin is gonna go forward of the fingers. And I will turn around and show you that too. Let me show you this way. Elbows are gonna bend out to the side, and then the chin is gonna go forward of the fingers, and I'm gonna press back up. Okay. All right, I'm gonna lay my feet down because I like it better that way. But you choose. Hands shoulder level, they're not right under the shoulders, but they're in this plane. Okay, so here we go. Chin, 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 chin. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. And then press straight up. Okay, so I'd like you to keep your palms down if you like. Some of you are gonna have wrist issues like me. So mine are already aching just from doing that. So I'm going to knuckle these and show you um, that way as well. So if, if you have wrist, wrist issues or that puts too much pressure on them, you can put your fists down as well. Okay, so let's try it again. It's the same concept. Still, here are my thumbs. I'll put my thumbs out. My chin has to go forward of my thumbs or forward of my hands. I'm gonna take my elbows out to the side, chin down, and press straight up, okay? Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Ready? You gotta still do it. And, and this, this is tough. These are tough because I see these done wrong all the time. The most, <laughs> the most. Um, and I really need you to do them right because so many injuries to the shoulders happen because of, of incorrect form here. So let's make sure we take our elbows out to the side and some of you are gonna be like, there is no way I'm putting my chin down. That's okay, that's okay stopping there and coming up. You could even put a block or books and stack them and keep lowering them down if you need to just train your body. But that chin, yes, needs to go over here. We're not doing this, watch this. We're not doing this. Do, look at how much pressure is on my shoulder. Ouch. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go forward, 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 and then straight up. Straight up. Okay? So up, oh, that's deceiving. What I mean by forward is that you're not starting here. You're starting forward of the fingers, and right here, you're staying here. You're staying here. Down, inhale, and exhale. Okay relax out the arms for a second, because that might have been a lot. And some of you are gonna be like, oh, that is way too much for my arms. Well, then you're just gonna hold it. So our next couple sets are gonna be more of movement and less instruction. So let's do this. Let's shake out those arms. And some of you, oh, let me not forget you. 
Some of you are gonna be like, well, this is no problem at all. I can do this. Can we wait until we see what happens to you tomorrow or the next day before you go crazy? Let's make sure that your arms really are, uh, are set for this. If they're not sore, then, then great. Yes, you can do a little bit more. But if they are, build your foundation first. Okay, so palms, palms down, fingers wide, fingers spread wide or on those knuckles. Either way, hands wider than shoulder width and let's do a set, knees right underneath the hips. Ready, let's go. Down, inhale and exhale, press up. Down, inhale and exhale, press up. That's two, let's try for six more. Down, inhale, maybe not all the way and exhale, press up. Down, inhale and exhale, press up. Good, four more. Down, inhale and exhale, press up. Keep your feet down. Down, inhale and exhale, press up. Woo, it gets hefty, doesn't it? Down, inhale and exhale, press up. And guess what, I lost count. So we're gonna do two more no matter what. I don't care what it is. And one more. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ha! Huh. I felt that, and I felt that on my knuckles too, because I haven't been doing a lot of push-ups. I've been doing a lot of weights, so you might have felt that <laughs> as well. So either way, it's okay. Palms or knuckles, and you certainly would feel it in the chest and the shoulders. Some of you in your back. Some of you aren't really sure where you're feeling it, and that's okay. Just focus on the form. Elbows going out wide. Yes, we're gonna do another set. So if your arms are tired um, or your shoulders feel anything, then what you're gonna do is just hold it. You're not going to bend your elbows. So let me show you that. And then the, the rest of you can um, either join in the set with movement or just hold it. Okay, so what's just holding it? This, just hold it throughout the whole time we're doing push-ups. So holding it is great, okay? Or bending slightly. Get ready for three, two, and one. Here we go. Inhale and exhale, that's one. Inhale and exhale, that's two. Inhale, maybe not all the way, and exhale, three. Feet down, they're not coming up. Come on, six, pushing through that chest. One more, see if you can get all the way, oh. Oh, okay, good. Relax that out, uh, shake those fingers out, roll those fingers out, maybe roll those wrists out a little bit. Okay, now we're going, gonna go on to the stomach. So these are very typical exercises that I want you to learn. We're gonna go into what's called a Superman, but it's going to be modified. All right, so get onto your stomach. Onto your stomach. So let's, let me set you up here. Okay, what happens with Superman is the butt comes up and the hip come, hips come off the ground a lot. No, we're going to press the hips down on, into the ground. Press them, push, 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 push. Squeeze the glutes and then make sure that, that for, let's get into position with the stomach. We want to almost pretend we're lifting, oh, I can do it. You're lifting the stomach away from, um, from the mat or from the floor. Now, you won't be able to see this when my hands are all the way down. Like right now, oh, that's so hard to do. But see if you can almost lift your tummy away from the floor, squeezing your glutes. Now let's widen our legs wider than hip widths, squeeze the glutes, lifting the tummy up off the ground, and then we're gonna slightly raise our legs up off the ground. Woo! And then we're gonna take our arms at half at half, 90 degrees, ang 90 degree angles. Our, my elbow is right in the same plane as my shoulder, maybe even a little lower. 
okay? Thumbs are up, palms are facing in. Relax out your legs. Let's focus on the, uh, on the arm portion first. Okay, uh, second. Ready? So we're gonna lift our chest up off the ground, push our hips into the floor, push, 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 and then raise our arms up off the floor. Woo! Okay, feeling the back. Elbows facing the ceiling. Hold it there. Neck is in line with the spine, so it's not over here, and it's not goosing forward. It's in line with the spine. It's in the same plane. And then we take everything down. <sighs> take a breath, because it's a lot. Get ready. Push the hips into the ground. Lift the chest up off the ground. Head in line with the spine. Maybe some of you will need to stay right here with your arms down. Maybe you can lift your arms up, palms facing in, thumbs facing up. You can even face those uh, palms down if you like. Might be a little bit easier for some of you. And then back down. Okay, so we're going to combine the arms and the legs. Follow me. Push your hips into the ground. Lift the tummy, lift the belly button away from the floor. It won't go, but that's the, that's the movement, that's the positioning. And then we're gonna keep our legs as straight as we can. Extend those feet, extend those feet, don't point the toes, but just extend them, extend the legs long, and then lift them up off the ground. And then we're gonna keep our thumbs up if you like, or palms down. Lift the chest up off the ground. Keep lifting the tummy up. And then lift the elbows up. Head in line with the spine. Hold it here. Keep breathing. And then relax it. Rest your cheek on your hands. Rest, take a breath. And let's try that again. All right, one more time. Ready? Last time for these. These are, these are hefty. So we're going to push our hips into the ground. Lift our tummy away or our belly button. Lift them off the ground. Our hips are pushing into the ground. Our stomach is lifting off the ground. Squeeze your glutes, straighten your legs, and lift those off the ground. Lift your chest up off the ground. Head in line with the spine. Lift your elbows up off the ground. Hands at half, hands at 90 degrees, or sorry, arms at 90 degrees. Thumbs either pointed up or palms facing down. Hold it here. Keep breathing. Relax. Oh, okay. Turn over onto your side. Bring your knees in. All right. Oh. Rock a little bit. Rock a little bit. All right. We'll stretch afterward, but let's go into sit-ups. Not full sit-ups. We're going to modify. Although some of you can do sit-ups. So we're going to hold the back of our legs. And we're gonna round the spine down. All right, you might be already on the floor, that's fine. Okay. All right, so let's start sit-ups with a rock. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Legs a little bit wider than 90 degrees. Let's say this is a 90 degree angle. Let's take the legs up and pull those knees in a little bit more. Press your lower back into the ground. Press, 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 press. Maybe the knees will come in a little bit more even. Press your lower back into the ground. Make sure like your hand can't, oh, they can't even go through because your back is locked into the ground. Okay, or is pressing into the ground. Arms are going up, forward towards the feet. 
And what we're going to do is we're gonna pull our knees in and then down. Pull our knees in and down and try to lift the hips. Knees in and down and then lift the chest. Knees in and down and then lift the chest. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna to wanna, to, eventually your body's gonna to wanna to push forward. So we're gonna pull them in and up and then back down. All right, pull them in and up like a little body rock. <sighs> Some of you will need to hold on to the back of the thighs. That's okay too. <sighs> but we're just doing body rolls. And guess what? This works the abdominals. <sighs> and what happens is, oh, I'm traveling a little bit, and you might too. <laughs> what happens is, we're gonna start to lift our legs a little less every time and a little less every time and maybe end up ooh, keeping them on the floor. We inhale and we exhale. We inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. And one more time, inhale and exhale and relax it. Oh, straighten those legs out. Straighten those arms and just shake out those legs. So some of you won't even be able to do a rock. Um, and you certainly won't be able to go into full sit-ups. So you're going to do crunches. So we're, sh we're showing you options so that you are able to do something. You've got to do something. You've got to keep getting there, keep building strength. So bend your knees, lift your legs up, press your lower back into the ground, okay? So you're gonna keep trying, keep trying this way to build, but you've gotta be a little bit more daring and then end up maybe, maybe moving into that rocking maybe holding those thighs. Come with me. Inhale and exhale. Inhale down and exhale up. So you're either doing sit-ups, you're either gravitating, graduating towards sit-ups, or you're continuing those rocks, or you're just trying to crunch up and move those legs with it. Yes, the neck has to build strength as well. You're feeling that too. Let's go for one more. Lay all the way down. Oh, it's hard. Keep that breathing going. You can, you can definitely straighten those legs if you need to, or let's just rock them side to side with them bent. Just taking it slow. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. <laughs> it's a lot, three sets is a lot. So again, I don't, I don't know what kind of beginner you are. So if your abs are already feeling like, wow, oh boy, that's hard, then you're just gonna rock side to side while we do one more set. And don't worry, don't push yourself. We don't want to get you too sore tomorrow. We want to get you like, wow, my body is a little tired and it did something and I feel a little sore, but not very. All right, ready? Rocking up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good, using momentum. Here's just four more. Three, yeah, good. Two, and last one. One, oh, okay. Oh, hug it. Hug, 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 hug. That's the last of it for down on the ground. So we're gonna come right back up and we're going to stay up for the rest of the workout. So come on up with me. 
Okay, moving into what, what are called static lunges or lunges where our feet won't be moving. We won't, we won't be going forward and back with them in any kind of way. Our feet will be staying in place and keeping us stable. So some of you can hold onto the wall or hold onto your chair if you like. Let's get into position. So I'm gonna take one leg forward, body up tall, and one leg back. So let's just go there. Let's go into that position. My feet, my toes are straight forward. What happens is a lot of times people will turn that heel in or turn it back. This isn't yoga. So for, for certain movements in yoga, that, that uh, turn, turning the feet, are, that's fine. But for this static lunge, we want to keep those toes totally forward. All right, widen your legs as much as, much as you can. And, and then we'll go into why and, and how. I'm going to lift my back heel up. This alone might be enough for some of you. It might be teetering all over the place, or you'll definitely need to hold on to something like a wall or a chair for stability. It happens all the times. It happens with most beginners, no matter what you look like, where you are in life, what age, doesn't matter. It happens with everybody. So make sure you're stable on the front foot and on those back toes, on the padding of the foot there. We're gonna bend the front knee, bend the front knee and the back knee. The back knee bends, the front knee bends too. Look at how my knee in front is at a 90 degree angle or is right, no, I'm sorry, it's not a 90 yet. It's right over the ankle. It's not over here. A lot of times that'll happen, this will happen, or this will happen, where that back knee isn't, isn't bending. Bend the back knee, bend the front knee. Both knees have to bend. The hips are right underneath the shoulders, and they're, they're staying there. They're not going forward in any way or back. This whole line is staying up. My, uh, whoop, even I'm falling over. My, to my torso is staying way up. My abdominals are lifted and, uh, and contracted or tightened. <sighs> I'm relaxing everything else, relaxing the shoulders. Maybe my hands are on the tops of my thighs, maybe at my waist or just dangling at my sides or holding on to something. Bending the back knee, bending the front knee, and then back up. Bending the front knee, bending the back knee, hold it here. That knee is at 90 degrees, okay? And then back up, relax it, bring it in. Let's shake it out. So that would, would have been most likely a lot for a beginner. So we're gonna try this again with the other leg back. And I'll stay this way this time and I'll show you a front view as well. So, back leg, so take them wide, take them wide wide apart so that you make sure that, that that if you're too close together this is not going to work okay chest is up torso is 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 up and those uh, abdominals are lifted and contracted i'm going to lift that back heel up bend the front knee and bend the back knee Bend, 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 bend. Oh, I'm even lifted up on my, on my feet. My, my, my heel, I'm not pressing my heel back. I'm pressing my knee in, in, and down. In, and down. This front leg, 90 degrees. Look at, this is almost at 90 degrees too. Okay, down, and then straighten. We bend, and then straighten. Hands at the waist, on the thighs, but whatever, wherever they are, what's not happening is this kind of thing, or this kind of thing, or this kind of thing, okay? Do a couple more, practice set. First set's practice set. Huh. Relax, balance, and come forward. Okay. So let's do a, a front view. Side views are a little bit more helpful, but maybe for some of you, you gotta see what's going on in front. Okay, so take one leg forward, one leg back. We're switching, we're starting all over. Okay, if you really want to know, my right leg is forward, my left leg is back. Toes totally straight, nothing is turned in any which way. Body is up tall, hands on the, on the waistline, 
on the top of the thigh or dangling at your sides or holding on to something. Okay, so we're going to bend and straighten. Oops, bend and straighten. Both legs, bend and straighten. That's three, bend, <sighs> inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale and come together. So that was six. Let's take it to the other side. And, and, and I'm, going to, I'm going to go back to a side view because I, I think that's more helpful. Lift the abdominals. Toes straight forward, body up tall, back is an arching. Lift, lift, pull them in, pull that hip in. Ready? Here we go. Down and up, down and up. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Two more, bending both knees and relax and bring that, bring that back foot in. You might feel like a mega stretch in that leg that's gone back. Shake them out, grab your water if you need to, okay? All kinds of things. You might not know what's going on. Your ankles might hurt, your toes might hurt, your back would hurt, you're feeling your arms for whatever reason, even though they're not really um, too involved. Just do the best you can. Keep it going. Let's do one more set, okay? Just to make sure we're getting all set. We've got everything, everything ready. So take that, uh, that leg back. I'm back with my right leg. I just did my left leg forward. I'm doing my right leg forward again. Left leg is back, body's up tall. Abdominals are lifted, toes straight forward. Ready, here we go. Down and up. Inhale and exhale. Straight down and up. Focus on bending that back. Back knee, especially that front leg should just come with it. This might feel a big stretch, that's okay. Let's do one more just in case. Oh, and then come forward, okay. All right, left leg forward this time, right leg back or vice versa, just make sure you switch. Get ready, body up nice and tall, toes forward, set of six, here we go. Down and up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's do two more. One more, and I think we'll do a throw in an extra because I think we did last time. Ha, huh, okay. And relax it. Ooh, those legs should definitely feel it. So static lunges. Feet stayed in place. Lots of balance required. Shake out those legs. Grab your water now if you need to. We are gonna go into a very, very modified deadlift. Very scary to teach us because it's, 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 um, it's difficult for people when they bend forward, for some people, when they bend forward, they tend to round their spine. They tend to round it. We wanna make sure that we keep the back totally straight, totally straight. We're going to hinge or bend from the hips. Like there's a big uh, bar right over our hips and we're gonna bend straight over it. Gonna bend straight over it or rather hinge from it. By bend, I don't mean rounding this way. I mean pushing, pushing the glutes up, up and back. Maybe not even back, because that, that's not really the sense. Pushing our, pulling or having pulled our chest forward and our hips and glutes lifting almost upward, upward instead of back. Lift it like your, your, your tailbone is lifting upward towards the ceiling and you're bending forward. So we don't want to bend forward too much. Keep the knees slightly bent. Okay, so that's, that's the sense. And we're gonna slide our fingers, slide our hands, palms on our, on our thighs, down to where the fingers are at knee level, and then back up. 
Slide your fingers down to where your fingers are at, around or just above knee level. And then back up. Bend your knees almost like a little, the tiniest squat. Tiniest squat. And we're just bending forward and then back up. Or rather hinging forward. Hinging forward like that bar is there. Nothing like that. And then back up. So it's, it's a lot of... Mm. Some people will have issues coming forward in the correct way because of um, not a lot of flexibility in the hamstrings, um, underdeveloped strength uh, in, the, in the back, in the hips, in the legs. So whatever the issue is, this is where we want to eventually get to. And you don't have to go too far. You could just have a little slight bend, little slight bend. The slightest ever. So eventually, eventually we'll end up going a little bit further. But we're not doing that today. Not today, uh-uh. We're building our foundation. Okay, and relax it and shake that out. We're only going to do that one one more time so that we move on, all right? So I just wanna show that to you and I'm, I'm moving around different views so that you can just see what's going on. Maybe I'll even do a slightly diagonal angle. Ready? Starting straight up, sorry. Lift those abdominals, lift, push abs forward. Here we go. Coming forward, following that, those thighs all the way down to the knees or right above the knees. Keeping the eyes open, head up, neck in line with the spine, hinging from the hip, lifting the tailbones up, maybe even keeping those knees slightly bent. Straight legs is fine too, but it depends on your flexibility and strength. One more. Okay, side bends. Really nice way to work the waistline. We are going to, let's take our feet a little bit, mm, oh, just a little wide. Maybe not even as wide as hip width, but just a little bit apart. Just get yourself stable. Tuck, tuck your hips. Lift the abdominals, okay? Contract them, relax the shoulders. And then we're gonna reach one hand down towards the same foot and then pull it back up. Again, reach it, and then pull it back up. And then take the other side. Reach, and then pull it back up. Make sure that opposite shoulder isn't coming up. It's staying down. Ah, and let's go side to side. The side bend. Sometimes you might even have seen people in the gym or in videos holding weights and doing this. And one day we'll get there. But right now, this is, this is quite enough. Just breathing side bending, focusing on those side bends. And we are going to do a different exercise between these sets and work the calves a little bit. A lot of times when people are starting out, their ankles and their feet need a little bit more support and need to be strengthened more. One more, so let's do that. Relax it, shake out those hips. Stay really stable, as stable as you can in the feet. Maybe hold on to something if you need to. And we're just gonna lift those heels up. Lift those heels up off the ground and then back down, just simple. Heel raises, calf raises. Keeping that breathing going, maybe an inhale and an exhale. Be careful that those ankles don't go out in any weird way. If this gets a little tricky, it, it sometimes helps people to keep their feet in a little bit more. And then let, let's not, you know, bend the knees too much. That'll be kind of weird <laughs> on the heel raises. So keep those legs nice and long and straight. Just working those 
ankles. Just go where it's comfortable, somewhere around there. Somewhere in between hip width. Yes, and relax it. Shake out those knees. One more time, side bend. Yeah, there we go. You, mm. I hope you're not too, too sore after this. I hope it's the right kind. But if you are, you're just gonna continue to practice and do these exercises until your body builds that foundation and gets used to them. And then you start to progress or you add on to these exercises. But these are pretty base. And you just build on them. One more. And relax it. And then here we go, heel raises. I still do these exercises. I mean, these are the bread and butter of working out. Push-ups, sit-ups, Superman, squats, lunges, all of that. Side bends, calf raises, deadlifts, all of that. You're just gonna get better and better with that, depending on what your goals are. Try to stay as stable as you can. Try to lift all the way up onto the pads of the foot. And relax it and shake that out. You should have felt that probably not just in your calves, but all the way up the legs. All the way, and some of you are probably shaking a little bit. That happens a lot of times on first uh, beginner workouts, for sure. With first time clients, that are coming in and starting out. Let's just sway those hips. First time clients will, they, it never fails. I'll start them off and they'll be like, oh, I can do more, I, I can do more. And I say, no, we're going to go really slow and we're not gonna go hefty. And then sure enough, towards the 20 minute mark, maybe even earlier, their bodies are like shaking. They're like, I'm, I'm shaking. It's okay. It's great. It means your, your, your body is, is starting to respond and hopefully it'll start to respond very positively. We just don't want to push too hard. We want to give it time to catch up to everything that's going on. All right, let's take hip rolls. Woo, I feel that back. I've been doing this over 20 years, well over 20 years. And even just teaching you this, I still feel all these things. It's not like it's way simple for me. It's not, it's not. These are, this is the bread and butter of, of, of working out. These are the foundational movements. Okay, taking those hips to the other side. And they're still pretty difficult, but it's great. You'll start to know what to do and how your body needs to um, needs to react how much you can take and that's hard when you're beginning that's that's the toughest part it's hard for a trainer to know that too we have to get used to it see what happens with the body <sighs> shake that out okay take one arm across make sure you know, okay one arm's across the other arm comes up underneath it not on the on the joint not on the elbow not on this one either, not on the wrist, but right in the middle of that and brings it across. Some people don't feel this. It depends on how loose you are. We're trying to feel oh, a stretch in this shoulder right here. Keep those knees pretty loose. Make sure you're not locking them out. And then relax that, just swing it out. And then take the other arm across, right underneath. Draw that shoulder down. Good, and swing it out. And then take one leg forward, one leg back, like kind of like that static lunge position, but this time we're gonna press our back heel down onto the ground, 
Press your back heel down onto the ground. Both hands on the front thigh. It's okay if you're leaning forward with this one a little bit. We're just trying to get a little bit of a calf stretch there. And then we're gonna lift the back heel up, push our hips forward, push our hips forward, and we're, we're keeping this the top leg just slightly bent, not too far down, and we're gonna try and feel a stretch in this hip flexor, this muscle, this deep muscle right here, lifting the abdominals. And then go ahead and balance onto the front leg. See if you can grab uh, the foot or the ankle of that back foot, back leg, and keep nice and tall. A lot of people teeter, especially in the beginning, so hold on to something if you need to with the other hand. Feeling a nice stretch in the top of the thighs, a little bit of an opener for the shoulders and the chest. then relax it and let's take it to the other side other leg goes back press that the calf down chest stays up and we're getting a nice calf stretch there <sighs> great job okay and then lift that back heel push the hips forward lift the abdominals feeling a stretch in the hip flexor. Some of you might not feel much at all. Let's see if we can, if we can get in there. And if not, we'll go into that thigh stretch anyway. And speaking of, let's do so. Let's balance onto the front foot and grab that ankle or foot. Open up, draw the shoulder down, open up the chest, feel that top of the thigh stretch. Great, and relax that leg. Shake those out, take those hands, clasp them behind you. Press those palms together as much as you can. Straighten those arms out, open up the chest, squeeze the upper back, and try to really, really lift those arms away from the body. I'm not the best at this. I have tried so hard not to have my chest be so tight, but if you're better at it, try straightening those, those arms out as much as you can and bringing those palms together. We're all just striving, striving to uh, improve with our bodies. All right, and relax it, roll those shoulders out. Okay, and get a big inhale here. And exhale here, ha, ah, and great job, great job. Keep going, keep going, keep going. See you at the next one.